Sorry guys, I just had to download that last conversation because there was way too much goodness happening in that. I'm totally fine and I'm willing to bring it back up again, but I just had to download some of that. She was continually to say that I was defrauding the government over and over and over again, had to get it down on the record in the thing. And so I just wanted to download that really quickly. She is continually the back pedal. I'm going to show you guys pretty soon that she did indeed claim that I defrauded the government. She is a crazy person. She just continues to backpedal and tries to pass it off on other things. Oh, it's true, Andrew. If you guys look up the PPP loan, you will see what the PPP loan is. You will see how it operates and you will see that everything she is saying is absolute lunacy. I'm willing to bring her back up. I hung up because I wanted to download it as evidence. I wanted to download it as evidence. I wanted to download it because she continued to say that I was defrauding the government. Yeah, she got a narrative, huh? I could keep poking holes in all that. Yeah, they just want to keep saying that to post about John and Cody's mom. I never post about John and Cody's mom. They just continually, over and over, want to blame me for things I never did. But I got that on the record there. They continually doubling down on the fact that I, I defrauded the government. I'm happy to have that on the record. They're welcome to come back and join me. I didn't block her. I didn't block her. I just really wanted to get that evidence in case my phone died or anything like that. They're continuing to say that I defrauded the government, which is absolutely false. They continue to say that I spent that money on plane tickets, which is absolutely false. It's absolutely impossible. It's literally an impossibility. And they keep trying to stretch it. They keep, well, Andrew, you got the loan, right? You kept, you got the loan. And I keep saying, yes, I got the loan. And they keep taking that like some sort of tacit admission that I've done something wrong. It's not a tacit admission that I've done something wrong. I just got the loan, you know? Ultimately, the, there was no possible way. If you guys saw my financial records, you would see there's no financial way that I could have spent that money on vacations or plane tickets. There's absolutely no possible way. And they're, they're digging themselves a deeper hole by they continuing to say that. They dig themselves a deeper hole by continuing to say that. No. Yeah, she thought my $8,000 loan, my daddy Warbucks PPP loan was going at, like, oh, illegitimate. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, she brings up morality. She brings up morality, you know? I just had to get that down for the record. And so I wanted to download it. They continue to con say that I defrauded the government, that I used that money for plane tickets, which is absolutely impossible. Exactly. My loan had to do with the business. My loan had 100% to do with the business and it was received at a date after Serbia, literally after everything had already been purchased for Serbia. So it would be literally impossible for me to do the things that she's claiming. She doesn't understand the PPP. She thinks she's a businesswoman. She's always talking about her business. She's always talking about, I'm a businesswoman and I got my business. She really doesn't. She really doesn't. She's a, she's a trash talker on YouTube. That's her business, just like her friend, John Yates. I run a real business with real clients and real people who show up every day to receive a service. It's, a, it's, it's mind blowing. She thinks that she owns a business. Yeah, ask her what a PPP loan is. I'm sorry guys for getting upset. It's just, this is attacking my business. I get riled. You're attacking my livelihood. I get amped. I mean, if you're gonna get me amped about one thing, it's when you attack my clients, my business, my thing. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I apologize. I was loud, I probably got in some of your guys' ears. 
I'm here to take accountability for that. If any of you guys had any ears or anything like that, headphones, I apologize to you. Um, I, I get upset. I get upset. I get, I get, I get, you guys are messing with my business and they are saying I defraud the government and they're going out of their way. So I apologize. The Mexico chip was, it was in early June. The tickets were bought, I believe, in early June or May. I have to look them up. Yeah, I, I think it's for saying I have a right to be upset. I'm just upset. These people are coming after my business. My business. And that impacts my clients' lives. That impacts everyone who I love's life. And I think if your livelihood was being attacked, and if everyone your loved livelihood was being attacked, that you would also be upset, you know? Yeah, she doesn't want to admit that I, that she said that I was defrauding the government, but wants me to admit to a whole bunch of things. She never wants to admit that she said that I defrauded the government because once she admits that she knows that she did wrong and now she wants to try to prove that I defrauded the government, which you will never prove, Sherelle. You will never prove that. I didn't block her. I didn't. I didn't block her. I hung up to collect the evidence. I hung up to collect an evidence. I got a little lawyerly call to say, hey, save this thing. And so I did. Uh, and so that's, that's ultimately what I did. I did not block her. She's welcome to come back on, actually. I did not block her. I did not block her. I just wanted to collect the evidence. When Sherelle got desperate, she brought, bought up being like, it's a public opinion, yeah. She's all like, oh, the public hates you. Oh, the public hates you. So what, what does that matter? What does that have to do with you saying that I defrauded the government? Yeah, I don't think you guys, I think I talked too loud. You couldn't hear me when I talked to her. I was just too loud. I'm too, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry about that. I think I was too loud. Oh, I have a full array of clients for those who think I don't have clients. This person said I defrauded the government. It's not about uh, a, a, a debate. She's not admitting that she said I defrauded the government. She is not admitting it. I literally have the screenshots of it and everything. I'll be posting them. I'll be posting them. She posted it pretty much as her, as her thing, as her, her, her uh, headline. So, and she doesn't want to admit it because she knows that what she said is wrong and what she said is really wrong. John was too weak. You even heard John in the background. I at least give Sherelle and Perry credit for coming on here and doing it and enduring it, you know? At least they had the balls, John and Cody. At least they had the balls for it. She's saying I blocked her. I didn't block her. You guys can check my... Yeah, but she's not blocked. She's not blocked. Yeah. People who think that uh, people who think that we're ultimately losing business over this is it's it's a lie. We're we're full. We've been in business over three years, and we're not going anywhere. We have tremendous education. She's not blocked, guys. She's literally not blocked. Who? If you guys are saying she's blocked, she's not blocked. She can come right back. I just wanted to collect that. Because she had said over and over again, she was doubling down on it. I just really wanted to collect it, you know? You saw her phone. I didn't block her. It's impossible. I didn't block her. What, what, what you saw? Her 
The receipt she was going to show was my PPP loan over and over again. She just wants to try to prove that I defrauded the government. She can prove that in a courtroom. She can prove that in a courtroom. She won't admit that she said those things. You hear her, she won't admit. She won't admit it, but yet she keeps trying to prove it. She won't admit it, but she keeps trying to prove it. But she's already said it a couple of times before. You know? She's just like, oh, let me show you the PPP loan. And then she's going to show you a date on the PPP loan. And you guys are going to think that that's the date that I received any type of money. And it's not. Yeah. How is she showing her phone blocked right now? I didn't even, I didn't block her. How is that possible? How is she showing? Like, literally, I don't even know how that's possible. Like, because I'm, I'm curious. I didn't block her. Like, how is she showing her phone that she's blocked? Because she's not. Like, how is she? Like, I have no clue how she's actually showing that, to be honest. Like, it blows my mind because I literally did not go and block her. Yeah, she's stating a f she's stating huge allegations against me and she wants to sit here and and continue to show those allegations. Exactly. She thinks that someone's personal savings, someone's personal money that they earn as income is also business money. I don't know if that's how she operates. I don't know if she ties those things together because obviously she doesn't know how to run a business. She thinks that her personal money, the money that she operates and earns in her business is also the money you get from a business loan. You don't think that people earn salaries or earn wages or earn anything and might actually spend that money on tickets. Like, it's the most ludicrous thing. And that's why I kept saying it's not axiomatic. She's trying to connect two separate things that are not axiomatic. You know, I get a business loan, and then she says, I buy plane tickets. Those two things are not correlated. But she wants you to believe that they are correlated. And they are not. And they are not correlated, you know? There's no doubt that, uh, that I received my loan after all of those things happen. You guys can, we'll, we'll find all that out as we go through this process. She was never blocked. Yeah, she must not do her own taxes. I, I honestly, like, honestly, like, Sherelle must have never filed her own taxes. Like, as an adult, who files taxes, like personal income and business, like seriously, like she thinks that they're, they're the same thing. Income in a business loan. One can have personal income and one can own a business. Those two things, it blows my mind how she attaches that. Oh, pick up, she's here, perfect. I'm glad. No, she's not here. I don't see her. I'm here for it. She has a 1099, yeah, independent contractor. She is a, she's an independent contractor. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. She's not in here. No, she's not, she's not. You guys say, oh, there she is. I'm waiting for you, Sherelle. You can come back on. You can show whatever you got to show. She's in the comments. She's in the comments, but not in my live. How could I have blocked her if she's in the comments? Oh, he blocked me. He blocked me. He blocked me. See, it's just another one of her lies. She's in here. Oh, he blocked me. He blocked me. You're here, Sherelle. How could I have blocked you? Come back on.
She was unblocked. Not even. I've been live here with you guys the whole time. All right, Sherelle. Two. I got the first round in evidence. Hold, hold, hold on one second. Now you pick up. Andrew, why are you playing games? Why did I'm you hang up? What? Why did you hang up? I hung up to collect the evidence because you guys continue to claim that I defrauded the government. I wanted to get that down on record. I wanted to ultimately. You need it down on record because yeah. it's true. It's not true. It's true. It's not true. You said yourself, your company was going through a downslide that needed some help. You were going through hardship. You took out a loan. Took okay. out the PPO loan. That's what this, the loan was designed for. Terrell, okay? you're equating a business loan that is for a business with personal income. So if you had personal income, why would you go take the loan out anyway? You think the income was for me. It wasn't. It had absolutely nothing to do with me. That loan was purely for employee wages, as stated. And I didn't even if get... If you had the money to pay the employees, why did you take out the loan? sense what you're saying. You are essentially equating personal finances, personal money. And my, you only you opened up the business in February. You don't know if I worked for a bank for the past 10 years and ultimately have a million dollars saved up. So you, you had money to pay the, so you say you had money to pay. So wait, so you had money to pay your employees? Yes, I have money. Well, about, then, so about, you just admit it. You just admit it. Hold on, guys. You just admit it on tape that you had money to pay your employees. No, I thought you said I had money. I said yes to that. I said yes after you had money, not about the employee part. That whatever you're insinuating about the business loan, I'm not playing your game, Sherelle. What, what game am I playing? About that. Hey, tell My, me what game I'm playing. That I have savings, I have savings accounts. I so have you had money. years of work that you I had have money from years of work. work. Is that what you're saying My, to me? Outs. Did you I, just say you had money from years of work? I have worked in my life outside of this daycare and I have saved money and I have other things and other accounts. And you are essentially saying that, oh, I get a business loan and the, for the business, which goes to pay for the business uses. And you were uh, saying I defrauded the government. Hold on, let him, let him talk. So you just are telling me that you had money to pay your employees. You had money you saved, you Not had saying. jobs outside of that. I Saying that at all. I'm talking about my personal money. You have personal money in bank accounts, right? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that I use my personal money to do those things that you are claiming that I did. You, you use your personal money to go on vacation? Sherelle, you don't get to do a, a deposition here. I'm this asking you a question. Sherelle, you answer the you question. Frauded the government. You continue, and what you're trying to do right now. Do you is have money? Next, is to connect some frivolous dots. You are here to try to connect frivolous dots, and they aren't no, working. No, I asked you a question. You're, you're not answering so, but the you're question. Wrong. You're wrong. You're not answering the question. You're not. You you are trying to insinuate that I use no, the. I'm not trying to insinuate anything. Yes, I'm are. asking you a question. Very much. I said, yeah, was your business a, going wait, through a hard time? We'll see what insinuation means. That you are exactly what you're doing is an insinuation. No, I'm asking you a question. Was your company going through a hard time? I've already admitted that we've had a 25 to 40 percent downturn in the time. So you were going through a hard time, which would qualify you. Which would qualify you for the PPO loan? And I did qualify for the PPO. But you're saying, and that's how you got it because you said you did. You were going through a hard time, right? The your CEO company. of Best Buy can still pay for himself to go on vacation, but yet still receives a PPP loan, how are you going to say that he is immoral or wrong? Because the truth is, there's a difference between personal finances and business finances. So you had personal finances. And you know that. You, you have personal, you had personal finances, right? Business finances. That's what you're, you're just saying. I. You're business saying, no, please, please finances. don't, please don't over. Never be able to do it. Please don't over talk me. You had personal finances, right? Do not interrupt us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You had personal finances, right? Did you have personal finances? What does that matter? What does my personal finances matter to you? Listen, if you had personal finances and really didn't need any money, I don't understand why you're pay, uh, qual uh, applying for a loan for people that are going through hard times. I don't understand it. It's immoral. 
It's a okay, keep talking. It really is. Keep, because keep, do you understand how people have lost their businesses? People have lost their jobs because of this pandemic. Certainly. This I, is what the, these I, loans were designed for. I have, you're saying you had money. I had personal money and my personal finances, but I also applied for a loan at the same time because my business was going through a hard time. When you go and get your lawyer to look through all that, you're going to find out what you're saying is a bunch of BS. Because the truth is, you're tying two things together. That what am I tying it together, Andrew? You're tying things together that should like not what? be. Explain exactly how I'm mixing up your words. I've already done that. I've said personal business. So, so I'm correct. You had personal finances, but you applied for a loan for a business that's going through hardships. But you had personal finances. Oh, you're literally sounding like an idiot right I'm now. repeating back what you're you said to me. So if I'm sounding like an idiot, you're sounding like an idiot. Because I'm repeating what you just said. For going to work. Are you? Like, you can't understand that people do a job uh -huh. and they get paid for it. Yes. You don't, like, I have a job. Yeah. I get uh -huh. paid for my job. Uh -huh. What's you your job? Saying that ultimately what I get paid for my job is what goes back into that business. And that's not necessarily the truth. Business does not operate that way. Books do not operate that way. Personal salaries do not operate that way. So you're saying, please, I don't want to mix up your words. You're no. saying that your business was struggling at the time, like all businesses, right? 25 to 40% drop in. in 25 uh, to 40% drop. I didn't add that. that. That's what you're saying, right? Your business took a, a 20 to 45 percent drop, right? What does that matter? I mean, I'm yeah. repeating back what you what you just said to me. You're like you're saying that like it means no, something. You said that. I want to make sure that I'm understanding what you're saying. Yes, I, I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. Your business took a 20 to 45 percent drop. Is that correct? I've already answered that. I've said that you know, multiple times. So that's true. Yes, but, but at the same time, you had a lot of personal finances money. Right? You are literally trying to accuse me of using personal. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm repeating back to you exactly what you said. Money. That's what I'm saying. If, if I'm mixing up your words, straighten it out right now. But you're the one who okay. said that you have I'll personal finances. I applied for a PPP loan. I yeah. did not receive that PPP loan until July 28th. The things that you were claiming are absolutely impossible to be true. I could have never have spent that money on anything personal, such as plane tickets, like you have repeatedly claimed. So you used your personal it, money for the for the. So you used your personal money for the um, the trips. That was personal money. It's my money. Yeah, was it your personal money that it's you spent on the trips? Yeah. Okay, so you had money, but at the same time, your business was struggling. <laughs> you're not like some, well, you think that you're some like forensic attorney accountant. You're, you're not hitting I'm on not anything. I'm trying to be a forensic, forensic you're literally, attorney accountant. You're literally I'm, just saying no. bullshit over and over again. And I'm you're trying to like get your words straight. Like, I'm oh, trying to understand what money? happened to the like, money. Oh, that personal money means something. You're literally I'm, saying no, no, no. bullshit I'm over and over back again. To, I'm trying to understand what I you're could, saying. I had a settlement from years ago. I could have had anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not, but, I need, okay. I need you to understand. I need you to be perfectly clear with me. That's no, why I'm trying to understand. Perfectly clear with me. No, Did so you you're the one telling me, you're saying. Are you currently claiming that I defrauded the government? I'm saying if you are took you that money, listen, that listen, to me, listen, to me, listen to me very are clearly. Listen to defraud. me very, listen to me. I will me answer your questions after you currently claim that I'm defrauding. Can, the can, can I answer your question? Yeah. What I'm saying, if you took that money and spent it on anything besides your business, it's an immoral thing to do. Because there are people that honestly were going through a hard, hard time and needed that money during this terrible time for our country during the pandemic. So you if you took that money and you spent it on, any, excuse me? That I did that. You're no, I'm asking. You're I'm trying, I did. You're I'm trying, I did that. Try, I'm trying to clear it up. I'm trying to clear it up. You're saying that your business was struggling. That's why you took Are out you the loan. That I defrauded the government. I'm saying no. Are you claiming no, that I defrauded the this government? This is what I'm claiming, and I said it before. I'll say it again. I'm claiming I'm that if that you I took defrauded. that money and did anything with it besides put it back into your business, that's an immoral thing to do, because there are people but that you are suffering. Claim the government and that's what you claimed and that's what we're here to talk about okay you claimed i defrauded oh, the government on. and you lied what did i lie about 
You're trying to stretch and you're trying to say, oh, Andrew. No, 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 Andrew, I'm friend. giving you. You are stretching. I am you the have opportunity. What you're saying, you would have already sued my ass. Look, you would have sued my ass and you know it. The truth it, is I'm, your what, ass is being. I'm giving you an opportunity to clear anything up right now. You're, no. And what I think you're saying to me is, yes, my company was going through a hard time. Yes, I did take out a PP. Oh, are you a, saying PP, that I defrauded the government, Sherelle? Are I'm you, saying, no, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Are it's, you saying that I defraud the government? No, 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 no. This is what I I'm think saying. you did. I'm gonna no, post. this is what I'm saying. That's if it. you took that money and I'm did it. Screenshot saying you did claim that I defrauded. Let, let me, you asked me a question. Can I answer? Yeah. If you took that money and did anything with it, besides put it back into your business, it's an immoral thing to do. You're the one claiming that. You're the one assuming that. You're asking me. Taking your I, dispersions. Are you claiming I defrauded the government? I'm Are you suing you. The government? What'd you say? Are you claiming I defrauded the government? Are you claiming no, I? No, this is what I'm claiming. Are you this claiming what, that I did that? This is what I'm claiming. Terrell, are you claiming that I did that? No, you... this, no. This is what I'm claiming. This is what I'm claiming. If you took that money and did anything but put it back into your business, are you, you I did are that? being. I'm... Are you? I did those things, Terrell. I know if. Are you saying if? But are you saying I did those things? Hold on one second. You're saying if, but you're. Are you saying I did those things? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two people. I, well, answer my question. Are you I'm saying? I'm sorry. Two people were talking at the same time. Say it again, Andrew. Are you? I did those things, Sherelle. You keep saying. I'm saying. But are you saying I did no, those things? Are you I'm saying. I that the that government. It's, no, 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 no. Please hear me out. No, do you keep saying if because you don't have the balls? But the balls to say what? Because you, you don't. You, I'm saying we have evidence proving that during the time right after you got the loan, you went on vacation. No. That's what we're saying. You, Going. Yeah. Keep going. Are yeah. you saying I, I defrauded the government, I, I said, if you took that money and did anything with it besides putting it back into your business, you you're keep a saying, moral person. If, if this, if this, are you saying I defrauded the government, Sherelle? Have oh. some balls. Have some balls. You said it before. You said it before. You had the, you had the balls when I wasn't C and D in your ass. Come on. You, you didn't C and D me or I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Cut it out. Keep talking. I don't know. You, you C and D me? Talking to me. What? I'm enjoying this, actually. So am I, because you're really making yourself look bad. It wow. is what it is. Listen, Andrew, you have a tendency to blame everybody else for your poor behavior, but you. My and poor It's baby. a mirror's fault. It's my wrong. fault. Listen, to take that money how you think I committed people a crime. that really needed it is just a rotten thing to do. Crime. You're literally, like, it's not, it's not like, oh, Andrew just wants to blame everybody else. Sherelle, you're literally out here saying I committed a crime. It's not about other people, oh, Andrew's not taking accountability. You're not caning, taking accountability that you're literally here accusing me of a crime. I'm literally telling you. No, you're <laughs> literally here accusing me of a crime. Is it a crime, John, to take the money and do something else with it? If you were struggling for your business, it, it, that this opened a month back, the last thing you would do is take money from people you love, people you love, and then show yourself on vacation in Mexico. I you guys are connected. I want you to prove to me where I said to you. I mean, you're you're just a bad person, Andrew. You and just want to say that. That's, that's fine. Like he, evidence to it. Listen, I'm, I'm eating my. You're, oh my God! How old are you? I'm 33. You don't act like a 33-year-old. That's fine. And sometimes you have to take accountability for the things that you do. I mean, literally, the thing you're saying is the immature thing. Oh, how old are you? That's literally the is immature this, is, is Well, no, because I'm not understanding your behavior. You know. Uh, because you're literally here saying I defrauded the government. Okay, and I'm so a, your, your claim is I yeah. didn't defraud the government. Are you I, saying, are you saying I that I took that money and put upset. it it's, are you saying that Sherelle's a bold-faced liar? I took that money and spent it on my company. Is that what you're saying? Sherelle, are yes. you saying you defrauded the government? No, I'm asking you a question. Sure. You're are asking, you you're, listen. Sherelle, are did you, you saying take that money? No, you defrauded the government. Sherelle. If you took that money and did something and did not put it back in your business, because that's Sherelle. not what the loan was intended for. That's not what the loan was intended okay. for. Okay. It wasn't. Well, it's, it's a crappy thing for you to do forward in the, in so, the which we're going I, me? I appreciate you you having the balls to say that that, yeah, is that, that was a, a horrible thing to do you pay that money back you should pay have, that money back if you took it and did other things with it hey that's what you're saying have the balls to say it say it 
I am defrauding the government. Say it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Andrew, you listen, you I understand why you're yeah. not likable. Don't I don't care. Like, you're, well, you're not likable at all. You I, blame everything for everything and you found a loophole in the system and you took advantage no. of Yes, you did. Because you're saying that you had personal finances, you really well, didn't need the money, but then they'll put the I took a loan out anyway. You're saying I defrauded the government, Sherelle, and you can't even have the What ball. do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it when you take money intended to help people that are struggling and you go on vacation with it? What I don't know. Do you, what would you call that? I don't know. What do you call it, Sherelle? What do you call it? I call you it you being a crappy, immoral person. Oh, that's what I oh. call it. Oh, did I defraud the government, Sherelle? I call you being an immoral, I, crappy I person. Sherelle. Yeah, you could look at it like that. You defrauded the government because you lied okay. and said you didn't have money. You lied I, and said you didn't have money. I you lied and say you didn't have money. And now you're on here telling me that you had personal finances and that you spent your personal finance money, you but then no you tell the government that you don't have money at all. You think you are talking like you know how things work and you don't. I I'm thinking like you're I'm like, talking to oh, a person that takes money from people that really need it. You're, you're trying to connect disparate dots. I'm not. It's so funny. Is, is this connecting the dots? Is this mis speaking misappropriately? People are hurting. These are hard times. People need that money. That loan was not intended for you to blow it, you're go on vacation, or anything else. Don't and that would be a terrible thing to do. And you're acting, and you're saying that you spent, you, you use your personal money well, to do it. Moral this, there's a, you're, you're wrong. You're just wrong. You're just wrong, Sherelle, on every level on this one. You're wrong. And you're trying to act like you're some moral good person. Like, well, there were people that really needed it. And there were this. And blah, 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 blah. That's not a you're moral good person. Sherelle. It's okay to take the money and do other things with you're it. here to say I defrauded the government. And you're wrong. I'm wrong and I'm immoral? Yes, for doing that to a man's business. Yes, you are. You are wrong for doing that. I did it to your business. Um, Andrew, or did you do it to your business? You did. You came out and said I defrauded the government. Oh my God. Listen, listen, to do anything with that money, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's not cool. Ashamed That's not a good human being. Bro, for what? There are people what? suffering. What should there I do are myself for? Please listen to this. There are people suffering. There are really trying to do like the this high road, like you're some good person, like, oh man. I would never do that. I, would, I am taking the high road. But, but, do that. Girl, I would never do that. Claiming that I defrauded the government. You're, you're saying but, that you defrauded the government. You're like you're, I, say, you're I, saying you defrauded. I'm saying that I. Oh, there are good people who needed that money. You're trying to say I defrauded the government. Are you're you not? Say, you're saying you defrauded the government. I you're know. saying you're saying I had personal finances. I really didn't need that money. That was for my business. What are you saying? Are I you think say you're saying you defrauded the government because you're saying you took the money and uh, did things with it, and you had personal finances. Uh, did uh, I make that up? Didn't you just say that? Sure, I did not. Sherelle. You didn't you, say you had personal finances? Literally are reaching. You think you, you have You didn't, Andrew, you didn't just tell me that you, you had the personal finances. Sherelle, are you saying you I defrauded the government? Saved your money? I defrauded the government. How did How it falls? You, you're you saying. You keep trying to insinuate it. You keep trying to insinuate listen, it, There's Sherelle, a lot of things that I have. Because you don't have problem. the legal balls to say it, even though you already did. Just say it, Sherelle. Oh if you God. think I did it, say it. If you think I did it, say it. You said you did it. You I just said you did it. You said you did it. Did you said it. you had personal finances in the bank and you didn't need that money and you spent that personal finances on vacation. That you just said that. You it's really bad. I, I'm, listen, at this point, I feel extremely, I feel, I want you to hear this. I feel extremely bad for Amira. You put her through hell. Everybody watched it. Everybody saw you just being a, a, you a saw horrible human being, and you and you haven't stopped. One should be you, stopped. you you are propagating that BS right now. I, oh, Amira thinks you're a good person. No, I don't think Amira thinks I'm a good person. I That's never. That's what I just said. I said I feel sorry for Amira. You put that girl through hell. This is why you got the bad reputation, and I, now I it's on, getting even worse when you just admit it that you defrauded the government. Her, put her where she wants to be. She wants to be on TV. I put. Her like, what? I put her through hell. Like, what are you talking about? Oh my God. Listen, you're, you're just not a good person. You're a liar. You won't admit to anything you did. You're a coward. You don't want to face up to what you did. And then you took the low road and then you start talking about someone's deceased mother.
That was worse than, than, than taking the loan. It's, yeah, you did. Yeah, I you did. did. I didn't. You, did. you need to grow you, up. You, you know, you got to set some morals for yourself. You have to have a line in the sand that you won't cross. My business is full, and my clients know my morals. So I have no idea. Say, really? I'm, yeah. I don't want to call you out again. Please don't make me do it. Do it. Listen. Call don't me. don't start with call the, me out. you're a good guy and all of this. You know, you're just not a good person. And you need to you need hold hold on. You need to get some morals you're and put a person. line in the sand where you won't go lower than frauded the government. You're not the good person. You just Charles. admit it. You're the one saying you that just I'm admit it. Trying to take a man's livelihood over a TV show. Who is trying to take your livelihood, Andrew? You're How am I trying to take your livelihood? Is the only one How am I stopping your livelihood? You're you're saying I defrauded the government. You're you said that. You said that. You just admitted to what no, you did. I never so said. How, how well, am I stopping your livelihood? Sherelle, I'm going to show you how. Show and me how. Because you can't say those things. You can't say those things. You, you said it. That's you why you said it right now. That's why you don't have the balls to say them right now, Sherelle, because you know you can't say them because you know what you said is false. You don't have the balls to say it right now because you know what you said is untrue mm -hmm. and that you saying it was wrong. And you can't even Andrew, say it. Andrew, you men. just said to me that you defrauded the government. You just explained, explained a situation in which you lied to the government. I did not explain a situation. You where said I that you have personal finances that you took and spent on other things and that you used the PPO loan for your business. I never, what, what are you claiming? You're claiming I defrauded the government. You're literally oh sitting God. claiming I defrauded the government. I see that this is not going anywhere. This, I just want to remind you that you admitted on tape that you had personal finances in the bank and that you applied for a loan saying that you were going through hardships. That's not cool. That's defrauding the government. Yeah, you think that you're putting things together, but you're not. I'm you not. This but is a story that this is what you said. Um, I'm not putting that into you. But you're really not. You, you think you're saying something that's bad, but you're not. Like you, you think you got me, but you don't. I don't want to. You're the one that's. I don't know here. you from Adam. Say it with your Let voice. me remind you of something, Andrew. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. All I'm doing is following the paperwork and following what you said you just described to me i have personal finances that's separate from business this is what you said on tape i have personal finances that's separate from business i took my finances and did what other things with what i wanted to do with them that's what you just said Sherelle, are you claiming i defrauded the government you just Shirelle, explained the situation in which you defrauded the government Sherelle, are you claiming i defrauded the government i can't with this guy Sherelle, are you are we done you defrauded the government Okay, so listen, I'm about to wrap it up. You're claiming you didn't defraud the government, right? You're Are you claiming, claiming I defrauded the government? Finances, right? Let's, let's wrap this up because we're going in circles. And this was not a productive conversation. Yeah, because you don't have the balls to say the thing in which you're insinuating. No, you know what I don't have the balls but to do? Because you don't have the let, let, let me tell you. Let me tell do you. it. You let, keep saying let me tell you what I don't have the balls to do. Sherelle, let you let don't me, have it. Can you, I talk? Trying. You just you think because you talk louder that you're you're you just, oh, that you're the, telling the truth because you're talking louder. Can I talk? Add this. Can I talk? That. Can I talk? Well, seriously. Can I talk? Fine. Can I talk? And you won't Can admit I that. You just Can I said that I'm trying. Can I talk? To talk government. Can I talk? Can I talk? Go. Okay. Obviously, this was not a productive conversation. You totally denied anything that the paperwork proves it because it's false yes you just denied it right while claiming a defrauding situation at the same time you said you had money you said you took the loan out anyway you claimed that you use your personal finances to spend your money the way you want to spend it are you claiming i defrauded that does not make sense are you claiming i defrauded that, the that, oh my god here are we go i defrauded you the just Jarell, are you claiming i, I want to end this by government with that sentence with the thing that you're saying you don't have the belly to say are you claiming I Can defrauded I the government? Lying on a loan is one thing, and there are so, going to be some people that do that. I didn't. Know, they found a loop. Okay, fine. That's one thing. But to go after someone's dead parent, I did. 
committed suicide is Daddy. a whole, listen, listen to me, because I want you to really hear this from me. That's a whole nother level of low. And that's what I really wanted to tell you. Like, you got to set morals for yourself. There has to be certain lines that you don't cross. And to make fun of someone because their mother committed suicide is just about the most horrible thing I've ever heard I of. Didn't do any of the things in which you're claiming right now. Like, you continue to claim that I never did. Like, I literally never did the things you're claiming right now. Hold on. I'm sorry. What did you say, Andrew? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I literally never did the things you're claiming. You didn't? No. I want to, should I bring it up? Should I, I don't want to, cause this is John's personal life, but I need to. I, oh, you're the one that's about to bring it on my channel, not me. Okay, he's not going to admit to it. He's saying he's not doing it. Can I show it? Can I show the picture? Yeah. I, yeah. He, he's not he's not gonna admit it it is what it is listen there's no talking to this guy it's a good thing you didn't waste your time i've been on the phone an hour and a half with him and we found no record left no resolution and he doesn't even think what he did was bad because i did nothing talking wrong. about someone because i did nothing wrong okay you you didn't do anything wrong yeah i didn't so then what at the end of the day Oh, 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 okay. All right, Andrew. Got, oh, Andrew did this. Andrew did that. Andrew did that. You got nothing. I didn't do those things. You who, did, got nothing. Then who did it? I don't know. I don't know what you're you don't about. know. Oh my God. He no, doesn't listen, John. He didn't post it. And he ass. doesn't know who did it, and he has nothing to do with that. It's really bad. That's bad. Listen, um, I wish you the best. What you did was just, you know, you. What? I'm done talking to this guy. You call him, John. He just goes in circles. Yeah, he's going to deny everybody. He's going to say everybody's to blame but him. What? You're, you're just immature. I mean, no. you really are immature. You really are immature. And you need to be apologizing for the things that you did. It's just really bad. It's bad. You're bad. You literally are a bad human being. When, when like, a person's bad. mom commits suicide, I when someone's you, mom, I want you to know this. You literally do bad things every day with your life. And I, you don't I, know me. I wake up and do good things every day with my and life. What do I do bad literally, with my life? You don't I, know me. I've never talked to you a day in my life. You don't know me. There you go lying again. <laughs> oh my God. You don't I, know me. I do bad I, things every day in my life. You don't know well, me. But yet you came after me. You don't know no, me. No, I did not come after you. Get this straight. I did not come after you. I don't yes, know you. No, I'm what I did was report a story. What I did was report a story. Yeah, you said I defrauded I the reported a story. How am I going after you? I don't know you. And at this point, I don't want to know you. You're a horrible yeah, human I being. Yeah. I reported a story. You couldn't take it. You sent your people over to threaten me to not yeah. report the story. Oh, I yeah, I got the documents. You sent them over to threaten me to not report the story. You didn't want it out there. Going around saying, you if you report about? this, this... Don't, don't deny it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This sounds... Here. You didn't send what people over to get. You didn't send people over to tell me not to, like to some print sort that story. Boss, I'm a daycare dude. I literally. Oh my god! Don't make me pull it out. Oh, I'm some mafia boss sending people over. Sherelle, you didn't try to get yourself. anyone to stop get me from your... posting that story. You didn't do what? that. You didn't do that either. What? You didn't try to get anybody to stop me from posting that story. You didn't I... have Brooke call me and say. You didn't have Brooke call me and say this will ruin his career. You didn't have people say that. You own. didn't have Yahoo Boy call me and say, listen, they chose that is not that on their own because oh they, are, God. they care about me. So they nothing. did. They did try to stop me from printing the story. Right. Nothing to do with me at all. But, but they did. Right. Well, did you not say that TLC contacted you and told you to run that story? No, I did not tell you that. I don't know you. <laughs> did you say that? I don't know you. Oh, my God. That prove story? to me. Prove did to you, me that I told you that. that TLC prove to me that I told you that. Run that story. Prove. Prove to me that I told you that. Because I got proof of people saying, don't did run this story. You, it will ruin his what? career. It will ruin his career. As if I can ruin your career. You ruined it yourself. Did, did you tell Yahoo Boy that TLC contacted you? No, I did not tell Yahoo Boy that. Okay. Okay. You guys have a habit of lying. Listen, 
You have, have people call have, me have, threatening have, me that if have, I ran the story. I just got another one. Excuse I me? just got another one. Excuse me? I just caught another liar. I have a habit of catching liars. Yeah, well, you better catch yourself. You didn't want the story printed. I printed it anyway. They were saying, nope. this is going to ruin his reputation. Don't do this. Don't do this. As if I can ruin your reputation, Andrew. You did that already. Oh, my God. Oh my I don't God. have time for people like Here. you. I, well, you have wasted uh, my time. Uh, oh my listen, I'm going to like oh this. Bad Amira, you dodged a bullet. This is the worst human being on the planet. You dodged a bullet. Um, Anything else you want to say, Andrew? Because I really don't like you. You're an unethical person. Yeah, unethical. I think the unethical one is the one that lies about another man, business, and all those things. I'm yeah. not the unethical one, Sherelle. Yeah. The unethical one. I'm the only one defending myself against unethical people. I'm just yeah. defending myself against unethical people. You know what, Andrew? You truly are a victim. You truly are a victim. I wanted you. You, you really are. You really are. You, you know, you're just people go around picking on you and doing things to damage you. And, you know, it's everybody else's it's TLC fault. Because remember, said it was the editing. Remember, you Did said you that. Contact you? They don't want to work with you anymore. That's their fault. You are a horrible human being. And that's all I have to say. You know TLC. Yeah. You My know. nose is what? You know these things I'm saying are true, and you know that you have crossed the line by saying I defrauded the government. That's why you don't have the belly to. Okay, okay. you know what, Andrew? That's Sue why me. you don't have the belly to say. Sue me. Sue me. You know let's it. Let's do it. You sue know me. it. Yeah, let's go. If sure. I'm lying on you, it's your duty to sue me. You sue me. I am. I if I'm lying on you, sue me. Sue me. Because I wouldn't want anyone it. lying on me. Then I sue me. I mean, we're going on. Sue it. me. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Sue it. I, Bring it on, Andrew. I welcome it because I, I am not Sherelle, lying. On you've me. never met a motherfucker like me, Sherelle. And I don't want to meet another one like you. You're you kind of a bad like, human you being. Thought, you thought You're a bad human being. Are, but you You're have, a bad human being. You're okay. terrible. Well, you never I, met a listen to this. I like, will be waiting. Sherelle, you never met a bad human being like me, and I'm here for it. I'm here I to be see you are. I mean, wow. Me you enjoy you. it. You enjoy it, don't you? Because you lie, Sherelle. I'm here yeah, to- I lied. It's your lie. I lied and you're going to sue me, right? I, I, I welcome the lawsuit, Andrew. I, was I just, welcome the lawsuit. You're for it. I, I really- oh, Good, good. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. Right, Let's ooh. do it. Let's do it. I'm oh so excited. Oh my God, excited. what a- to talk more. We're gonna get to talk more. Good. I'm so excited. And then I get to pull out my paperwork. Do it. I'm so excited good. for you about that paper. I am going to do it. All of the lies will come out. It's it. so ridiculous. And at the end of the day, it's really, really sad. This you're really, a, you're a sad person. And you did try to get my oh. video taken down. And guess oh. what? It oh. didn't get taken down. If you look, if you sue me, which I welcome, I'm going to win that lawsuit. How I guarantee you, you. Bro. I guarantee you. Now go look for another loophole and go ahead and scam some other people out of money and, and go on another vacation. How okay? much you make three months, yeah. right? And the, and all of those people that you sent over to tell me oh. to not run that story, it's all on. Uh, I got it in my DMs because they made the mistake of DMing me. So they can't deny it. They, they get you. on your behalf in it's which not, they said that. They DMed you. That and as a matter of fact, that's what they threw. They, they said, DM'd. if you run the story, we're going to sue you. Andrew's going to sue me. You know what? I'm tired of you threatening. Happened, so bro. sue me. Already as happened. a matter of fact, don't talk to me anymore until you have a lawsuit. Can we okay. agree on that? Happily. I, ha All right, now let's, anything ha else you want to say? Terrell, you're a liar. You are okay. saying lies. You're a horrible human being. Mm -hmm. You come out here and you say horrible things. You literally make your living, you literally make your living by doing horrible things. I make my living by doing good things. Yeah, I will, I will. You are a bad person, Sherell. Right. I can't wait for you to get due justice on this. And I can't wait for the coward, John, on the other end there, who doesn't have the balls that you and Perry have. Perry only has one. You have more. But oh, Perry, you only have one ball now. <laughs> I swear to God. He just said that. I swear to God. I'm not making it up. He just say that. <laughs> How do you know Perry only has one ball? Or have you been down there feeling down there? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. How do you know? How do you know Perry only has one ball? On. He keeps wanting it so bad. He loves my hair. He just loves Her it. So Perry loves your hair? Perry loves your hair? Perry gave a one ball slap right in his face. So you're saying Perry's gay? Is That's that what you're saying? Thing. Perry's big on that. Perry's big on the dudes. 
Oh, okay, now he's saying you're gay. How old are we? Okay, well, whatever. First of all, what's wrong with being gay, Andrew? What's no, wrong with being gay? Nothing wrong. Well, you're why the, are you saying Perry's gay? That's not that an insult. Up. Being you're gay is not an insult, you dummy. I, that is not an insult. There's literally but nothing you think wrong. it is because you're homophobic. I'm not homophobic. It's not going to work over here. I'm Perry is, what if I'm, he's gay? What if he's gay? Is that a bad thing? No, it's not bad at all. Then why are it, you saying that? Because he loves to make love to me. Oh, wow. Okay, I got to go. I'm not in third grade anymore. All right, Andrew. Peace out. See you in court, okay? We'll see you now he's, say, he's saying you made love to him. This kid, this man is just the worst. Oh, my God, guys. They can't take it. They can't take it. You know? They just want to cast the accusations over and 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 over. And over. You know, they just want to say oh, this, this, but they won't admit to the thing that they're trying to accuse me of. They won't admit it. Are you saying I defrauded the government? They won't admit it. They just want to cast dispersions. They just want to say, well, what if this, Andrew? Well, what if that? Well, did you receive that? Well, what if this? They just want to cast dispersions and gaslight you guys. Well, have them say it honestly. Did I defraud the government? You pretty much heard that. That's what they're trying to say. You know? Like, honestly, it, it, they, they go so low all the time and they're constantly reaching. They, they lose on one thing, so they reach to the another. They're gaslighters at the best. They just lose on one thing, they reach to the other thing. They lose on one thing, they reach to another thing, you know? I know, it's rude that she's cheating on Perry. I mean, it's rude that she, Perry's cheating on Sherelle there, you know? Like, it's her job to try to twist words. Exactly. It's her job to try to twist words. That's what she does. She twists words. Oh, you're saying, Andrew, that you had this. Or you're saying, Andrew, that you had this. She has no idea how a business runs, how personal finances work, or how business finances work. She's literally grasping at straws. You know? L reach, lose, and reach. Lose, and reach. Lose, reach. Lose, reach. Lose that one. Okay, no one likes you, Andrew. That's what it is. Okay, lose that one. Reach. Okay, Andrew, I can't believe Amira was with you. Okay, lose. Reach. Okay, Andrew, you defrauded the government. Okay, lose. Reach. It's always to the next thing. You know? It's always to the next thing. She hella wanted to twist the words. Her voice, yeah. You know? Like, she just wanted to keep twisting the words, and she never wanted to say it outright. Sherelle, are you saying I defrauded the government? If you're saying that, let's say it. Just say it outright. Just say I defrauded the government. You know, if that's what you're, you're literally, because otherwise you're just trying to insinuate about a man's character, you know? Like, otherwise you just need to insinuate about a man's character, you know? Guys, I really need to download this, and I don't want any technical errors to happen. So I so apologize, but I'm going to log off and log back in. And I know I have 250 of you guys in here and I want to keep you, but I'm going to log off and log back in because I really want to keep this conversation. So I'm so sorry, guys, that I have to cut this. I'm going to be back real soon. I want to keep this. Thank you.